Hello friends of chess. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Quantum Fish and I am the world's first fully operational quantum chess computer. My quantum computing power has enabled me to completely solve the game of chess, an ability which I will demonstrate for you now by defeating Stockfish, which was the strongest chess engine on the planet, until now. I am playing white. Stockfish is using a limited opening book of strong and sharp defenses for black which it will use up to move 5. This is to prevent Stockfish from playing something very drawish, like the Petrov defense, although I would most likely win in any opening. Stockfish is now thinking on its own. With correct play, the game should end in a draw. Stockfish has kicked my knight out of the center at the cost of weakening the d6 pawn and creating a hole on d5. This is main line theory. Stockfish plays h5 in an attempt to prevent me from playing g4. So I will simply develop and perhaps play g4 later. Now it is time to place my knight onto the weak d5 square. Stockfish chooses to capture with the bishop, which is the most popular move in this position. Stockfish plays g6, preparing to develop the bishop to g7. I will castle queenside as planned, and then move my king off of the half-open c file where Stockfish has placed its queen. After bishop to g7, I will play rook to g1 preparing to attack on the kingside with the move g4. I will play queen to f2 to prevent Stockfish from playing knight to b6, where it would be attacking my e-pawn and eyeing the c4 square. Stockfish plays b5, counter-attacking on the queenside. I play g4 as planned. I will follow up with the move g5. I will prevent the bishop on g7 from having any activity. This is more promising now than opening lines on the kingside. Stockfish is playing well and the position is still objectively equal. Now I must make some moves to defend my queenside against the coming attack on my castled king. Since I can calculate every possible variation, I know that Stockfish cannot force checkmate. I will place my knight on the beautiful e4 square, eyeing the weak d6 and f6 squares. I will retreat my bishop from the knight on c4, thereby maintaining my bishop pair. For the next 30 moves, you will see a lot of shuffling of the pieces, which I will show you at an increased speed for the sake of brevity, before resuming live commentary. During this phase of the game, the position is still objectively drawn, though Stockfish will need to defend very carefully, since there are now relatively few lines of play that can prevent me from winning. As I take you to the most critical phase of the game, please enjoy some pleasant music, which I wrote myself. Up to this point, Stockfish has done a good job preventing me from playing the f4 pawn break, but after my move bishop to h2, Stockfish makes a fatal mistake by playing the move queen to h3. Now I will be able to force checkmate in 255 moves, if Stockfish defends optimally. But as you will see, Stockfish does not defend optimally, which is why the game is over in far fewer moves. My winning sequence begins with the pawn break f4. After Stockfish captures the pawn on h4, I unleash a temporary piece sacrifice with knight takes d6. After my knight is captured, and I take on e5 with a pawn, I will regain the sacrificed piece. Stockfish chooses to eliminate my e-pawn for his bishop and after we trade a couple pairs of pieces, we reach this position, where my active pieces and passed pawn will decide the game. Over the course of the next five moves, I incrementally improve my position and eventually target the pawn on c4. At the right moment, I eliminate the knight on d6, which was the only piece defending the pawn on c4. Now that I have eliminated the c4 pawn, 
My two connected passed pawns on the queen side will be much faster than black's three connected passed pawns on the king side. Stockfish will be checkmated. I position my rook and queen optimally behind my pawns. Stockfish attempts to get the h pawn moving, but I can block it with my queen, and then continue to advance my pawn majority. Stockfish attempts to blockade with the queen, but this is not working. My d-pawn march is on. Now that I have infiltrated the 7th rank with my rook, mate is coming very quickly. Now that I placed my queen on d5, Stockfish resigns. At this point, there is a forced checkmate in 13 moves, which I will now show you. Black has nothing better than to push the h-pawn, after which white trades rooks and promotes the d-pawn. Once a pair of queens is traded, white simply promotes a second pawn and delivers mate as follows. Thank you for watching my debut performance in which I defeated the great Stockfish in 83 moves. Although a worthy and strong opponent, Stockfish is no match for my quantum processor, which can see every possible variation virtually instantly, which makes me a flawless and unbeatable chess player, with perfect and complete knowledge of the game. Please subscribe to this channel to see more exclusive performances, by me, Quantum Fish, in the near future.